Good morning, guys. It is really, really early. It is 6.15 and the sun is out. 6.45, I have to be at the Danichi Koi farm. I have no idea what I gotta got to do today. Um, maybe I will work whole day at the Danichi Koi farm to experience what they do for work. Maybe we have a harvest. I really don't have any idea. So I take you on my trip today. Uh, will be an amazing episode. You probably have seen it in the title and video. Uh, let's go to the Danichi Koi farm. All right, so we are at the Danichi Koyo farm. We just, just did the planning with the crew. Uh, it's 6.45. And we're on our way, I think, to one of the mud ponds. Uh, I will see, I think it will be hard work today, <laughs> but it'll be quite interesting to see how they run the farm here and how they start working so early every morning. And I see them working till maybe sometimes even in the late after, late evenings, like seven or 8 p.m. So they make a long days, it's hard working, but they also have to do it because this is high season and this is one of the biggest farms here in Niigata. So, it will be an interesting day. Uh, I think we get some boots now. And um, Savannah, Waiters. Hunter. And, uh, <laughs> and today will be a good day for the Danichi Koi Farm because they have some American and European extra employees. <laughs> I thought he gave me a wet one, but it was wet on the outside. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just arrived at the mud pond and we're waiting for the rest of the crew to come over with the net and I've been doing a lot of big harvests this week uh, like the really big fish and today we start with the harvest of a tozai mud pond this is something they normally not do in this time of the year uh, but here at the Danichi koi farm they're so big they're even harvesting their tozai mud ponds and most of the time they do their bigger harvest like Nisai, Sansai, two three years old in the afternoon um, it's a very big koi pond for only tosai. I've never seen such a great and big koi pond for tosai. There are even ducks in there, <laughs> like two ducks. And I, will, um, I, I see where the fish is, so I will swim around, try to show you. And uh, I think it's Showa, but I'm not sure. So we were at the wrong mud pond. <laughs> So we weren't going to harvest the Nisa or Tosan mud pond. Well, maybe we still do, uh, but it's a different mud pond. Uh, look at that stream, that is amazing. Uh, so we're uh, on our way to a different mud pond, ready to get our boots on and jump into the water to help them with the harvest. Um, four, four by four is on, <laughs> so we can get up here and it's a beautiful day. Alright, ready to go. We are at a different mud pond. We thought we were going to do Tozai Harvest, but I think it's a bigger one. This is an amazing, beautiful place. I will show you guys. Look at that beauty of a mud pond. Isn't that great? Custom. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here they go. And these bags are heavy, guys. Look at it. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it feels so weird to be in this water and not be wet. <laughs> <laughs> <Tasty. Tasty. laughs> oh. So look at the frogs that are in this pond. It's crazy. Wow. Huh? It's the biggest toast I've ever seen. I mean... Look uh, at their mouth. <laughs> they even don't have feet yet. <laughs> Those fish are... Guys, yeah, so these are... I think... Nisa? Sa Sansa, yeah. Sansa. So yeah, so this is three-year-old fish. Look at that, guys. This is Kaku. I think the, the, the body in the Danichi Koi farm is insane. And also look at the Showa. What a great fish. Unbelievable. Got more. Okay. Wow. Oh, nice. Bunting. Oh, Maritim Showa. Here it comes, guys. So what I do, I turn her around a bit. So look how calmly she falls. Look at that pattern on the head. Uh. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> so all the drips of the <laughs> So there are a couple of more in here, I think. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. <sighs> and she's still counting how much I need. And there are a couple of in here. A lot, there's still a lot in here. Oh, look at that kindai shell. <laughs> Escape. Oh, big kohaku coming in. Yeah, nice. Oh, that is insane. Absolutely. Okay, one more and then I let Hunter do the rest. Shall I hit the camera? Yeah, give it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Then>. <laughs> I will film Hunter. There you go. Send him in. Oh, that's the one. Kendai. That's the one I didn't yeah, nice. do. <laughs> I got a new friend. <laughs> he makes a lot of commotion. Very dark color. Tanju Nana. Hachi. Hachi. Hi. Strong man. Oh. And he lifts them up into the tank quite easily. So that was kind of a surprise to go from a Tosai mud pond to a Sansai or three-year-old mud pond. It's a very big pond. Uh, mud, mud, uh, wow, it's a very, nothing goes always good guys. So it's quite a big mud pond. It is, I think, in depth, and I'm not joking, I think it's six, seven meters in depth. It's crazy. If you can see the edges, how many water they also um, removed from this mud pond, it's insane. Um, they're gonna do it again, so they probably miss one or two koi. Um, so let's see how that goes. We have the truck full of koi, and I'm looking forward to get back to the um, actual koi house uh, to see the fish again. Um, 
Look at the view, guys. This is... Okay. Look at the view. One more. Ichiban. Oh, three. Oh, there are three pieces left. Okay. So second round, more four pieces missing. There were 46 pieces in this mop pond. Uh, Savannah is doing her pet care today. <laughs> Busy with the with the frogs. <laughs> I've been catching them. They're so slow because it's cold. Oh yeah, it is. So they do this very carefully to make sure they get these one and they don't have to do it again. So you can see how much different animals are in this mop pond. We got a frog, some kind of crazy frog in here too. And. Uh, it smells, <laughs> but that's part of the job. That's what we do here. Slowly and slowly, they're on their way to, to our side. Try to get the net around the drains to make sure the fish doesn't escape again. And we eventually get them in this swimming pool. So Hunter is being corrected and he needs to hurry up a bit. <laughs> so this is, I didn't know that too, but the two green ones in here are, needs to be in the center all the time. Um, so Hunter has to pull a bit more to get it straight. And then the two outside ones, she's waiting now because Hunter has to pull a bit more. And they are doing the really careful job getting the net on the bottom of this part. So the fish cannot escape underneath it. And on this side, we have a big drain. And it's draining all the water into the river. And eventually this mud pond will be empty in one or two days. All right, that's it. The fish are in the tank. We got all of them. No fish is missing. So that's great news. We're cleaning up the net, getting the stuff back on the truck. I'm going to put the camera away. And then we go back to the actual koi house and we can finally see the koi a bit more up close. Morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it in there. Good, they were beautiful. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was great. Yes, uh, good, good, good. And the quality is the body on the fish is amazing. Are we ready? Yes. Good result? Yes. Okay. I think so, yes, but you are an expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're really nice. Good bodies, really nice. Some Maruts and Showa. Oh, yeah. Yes. Are they for sale or customer call? Oh, customers. Oh. I, I think that was the same that was on the new mag is or the new calendar i don't know it looked similar though it was like beautiful So he has the results uh, or the, the beginning pictures and now we're going to compare them with the results so all koi we harvest it are customer koi. That means that they pay money to the breeder to take care of their uh, their fish. So, uh, taking pictures of them. <laughs> nice kohaku and some grey sashi that is there. Really nice kiwa on the side. Amazing fish. Very clean head. Beautiful. And this is only three years old.
That is great. Uh, that's, that is a great way. Let me zoom out. Yeah, that's a great way to photo your guy, your fish. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> So that was quite an exciting morning here at the Danichi Koi Farm. Not sure if there's enough content for a whole long video, but when you watch the video, we'll definitely uh, see about that. Um, I have to change one of my settings. Yeah, that's better. So that was quite a morning, guys. Uh, it was a nice day, nice morning, nice harvest here at the Danichi Koi Farm. And they asked me to come back tomorrow for one of the bigger harvests, the 85 cm koi. So that will be in next episode. I'm going to check out Terrazzo's koi. He just did harvest. Uh, I hope they're back right away. Then I go back to the hotel, change my memory card. I forgot my charger. Um, receive some data, do a lunch, and then we will see where we're going. Um, so yeah, just stay watching. Don't go anywhere. And don't forget to like this video. So today, <laughs> sales event at Hoshikin. And we're lucky because it's just around the corner at um, Danichi, so that's great. It's two years old, Nisai. People are showing up already, so that's good. Oh, there he is again, Rob San. the <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of people are here for the Zils event with um, Hoshikin. It will be some kind of the same setup as we had yesterday with Nogami, so it will be fun. <laughs> So today's event, they are selling only Tansho. So if you're not quite familiar with the Tansho variety, it's the white fish with the red dot as most of the people recognize as the Japanese flag. So um, the fish are in these two tanks behind me. Uh, the people are waiting at the main greenhouse. So they will load up the fish in here and um, or maybe they will do the event on this side. So it will be nice. Uh, nice to see how this event goes. And I'm really looking forward to the quality of the Tan Show. Um, they look very nice, so we will see. Very good. <laughs> So uh, all the fish are meals. Meal pancho. Oh. 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 Oh.
So time to go back to Dainichi. Um, people are busy with picking out their ton shows. Sometimes these events take such a long time, like a couple of hours. So uh, I don't have time for that. Going back to Dainichi and maybe even go to Marudo, not sure. Um, it was quite nice to see um, Hoshikin having uh, those nice mill tent shows. Very, very nice. Um, we are continue our trip today, our uh, video, <coughs> at Bruto. I bumped into uh, Orlando and Misha. Uh, Misha has a company here in uh, Japan. And they told me that I had to join them because they maybe have to search some very big koi for one of their customers. Um, and if there's some big koi, I would really like to see that and also show that to you guys. So it will be interesting. I cannot promise that we will find something, but there's some big ladies in here. Yeah, absolutely amazing, guys. We have some great varieties here. Um, we're with Orlando. Hi! Quite addicted guys, go find them on YouTube. Uh, we've made some videos also at Buster's Pond. I've never been to your pond by no. the way. Not yet, at so least. Next week? No. <laughs> <laughs> next week I'm still in Japan. So yeah, good. that's true. So uh, we will do that. Um, Orlando has a nice pond indoors. So these fish you see here are massive. Between everything that is in here is about 80 cm. It's ridiculous. Very, very beautiful. But look at that genuine on these, the fish on these fish. So we left Marudo. It was quite busy and they didn't find what they were looking for. Uh, six big koi from 80 centimeter and bigger. So we are on our way to another koi house and another breeder. Let's see if we can succeed there. Uh, if not, it will be a short video today, but uh, if we will make it, then um, it probably will be, um, be nice. Uh, this part of the Yamakoshi is called Kawaguchi. This is the area. Um, this is a place where I most of the time don't come because uh, I'm not used to all the breeders here. Uh, so sorry, I don't know all the breeders here and all the koi houses. So, so some of the koi houses that are located are from existing breeders in Yamakoshi or Nagaoka or Ijia. It's always a big question. But the insiders, like Misha and uh, Misha and Orlando, know where to go. This is one of the koi houses of Marusai. Such a beautiful day, nice weather. Ah. <laughs> Just look to that. We are looking for, for Jumbo. <laughs> Tosai. <laughs> no, <laughs> no jumbos. No nice jumbos at all. Huh? Yeah, so we find a secret koi house. Well, it's not really secret, but it's hidden. I've never been here before. This is a koi house of the Marusai koi farm. We have all seen the big ponds, the big green ponds filled up and packed with koi. And look at this one. It is even locked and closed with wooden panels. And to be honest, the koi house was closed, but they managed to get in. They have permission from the breeder, so that's good. And um, let's see what they got. I think they have some nice and big fish in there. Oh, look at that monsters. <laughs> Incredible.
Unbelievable, guys. The body on this fish, these fishes are. Everything is 80 cm or bigger. Look at that. Isn't that crazy?